Solve the following system of linear equations over Z7 using A inverse. So my first step is going to be rewrite the system of equations in matrix vector form. So we'll have a matrix A times our column vector of unknowns equal to a column vector on the other side for one. Now, we're going to solve this equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to find A inverse. We apply A inverse to both sides. A inverse times A gives me the identity. The identity times X reduces to X. And then I'll have A inverse times B on the other side. That's going to become our solution. Now, what's the equation for the inverse of a two by two matrix? That's just going to be, if A is A, B, C, D, we'll take one over the determinant. We're going to switch the entries on the diagonal negate the entries off the diagonal. So for the matrix that we're interested in here, what are we going to have? 1 over the determinant. That's going to be 1 over 15 minus 2. Okay, you multiply the diagonal, subtract off the product off the diagonal. So I'll have to deal with a 1 over 13. And then we're just going to switch the entries, negate what's off the diagonal. So I'll have 5 minus 2 minus 1, 3. Now, we want to clean this up so that we can use it. So I'm going to need to know what 1 over 13 is. Since I'm in Z7, we really don't deal with fractions there. We always try to get our numbers between 0 and 6. So let's see, what's going to happen? Well, 1 over 13 is going to be the same as 1 over 6. So I'm going to need to find what 6 inverse is. Or what I'm trying to do is find the number times 6 that gives me 1. Now, if I run through 1, 0 through 6, try to find that number times 6 that gives me 1, we'll see that the solution to that is going to be 6 itself. So 6 inverse is equal to 6. When I try to find A inverse now, that 1 over 13 turns into 6, and now I just push it through, and then I'm going to take each entry and get it to a number between 0 and 6 by adding or subtracting multiples of 7. So we wind up with the matrix 2, 2, 1, 4, if I want to check, I would take that matrix, multiply it by our original matrix, and make sure the identity comes out. All right, now let's take our matrix, get the solution to our system of linear equations, and then check that our answer works. So I multiply A inverse times B. It's going to give me 10, 8. We subtract 7 off of each of those. It's going to give me 3, 1. And then we stick it back into the original equations. When I put it back in, we'll notice 9 plus 2 is 11, subtract 7 gives me 4, 3 plus 5 is 8, subtract 7 gives me 1, so our solution checks out.